welcome back. I have an empties of, was it April? Oh my goodness, it was May. I am like, I'm so thrown off because I haven't been working and I don't know what day it is, like most of the days. So, May happened. It's June now. It is summertime. Okay, I feel like my life is just... The first empty I have is this Dove Sensitive Skin. This is just a body wash. I love it. I love Dove. I love the Sensitive Skin one. Um, been breaking out so bad here because I've been using different hair products and like this hair because it's so long like it just breaks me out like crazy when I try new things. I'm very sensitive to different products. I get acne non-stop. I accidentally went through this one. It's a loofah. You're supposed to go through them like I think I just change it a few times a year. I usually only go through like one a year but this one just like came unraveled and died on me so I got a new loofah. I always love the stick ones because you can go and like rub your back with it. I also went through a so totally clean 10.0.6. I need to get more. I've noticed my acne has been a little crazier because I've been using this. I need to keep using it. It's just like here's part of my loofah again. I just need to start buying in bulk like a lot of them at a time because I don't have an Alta near me and I hate buying online and paying for shipping when I just need that. Another product for acne makeup remover soap-ish product is this Clean & Clear Essentials Foaming Facial Cleanser. This is so cheap and so amazing at taking your makeup off. I literally cannot suggest it enough for you guys. And then Bath & Body Works, another soap. I am a clean person, clearly. This is the Be Happy Nourishing Hand Soap. It doesn't have any exfoliating beads, which I love those, but it smells so good. It's worth it. I'll be buying something like that again. I love Bath & Body Works. I went through a few candles per usual. This is the lavender and then I went through bubblegum. Both are great and both are very like spring and summertime scents. I'm trying to get through my collection just so like I don't want to have a stockpile of candles anymore. I also want to buy some fall candles from there and I won't let myself do that unless I have zero candles in my stock which I don't know, by the time fall hits, I might actually be able to go buy some, and I've been on a ban for a very long time. Protein powder-wise, this is the most amazing protein powder I've ever had, and I just use water. Like, I'm not someone that wants to have to use, like, a special, like, vanilla almond milk or whatever to make it taste okay. Like, I need my protein powder to taste perfectly fine with water, and this one tastes amazing. This is the Fruity Charms. It's by Performix and it has 25 grams of protein in it which is supposed to like act like 35 grams of protein compared to other powders i don't know there's science behind it or so it says this is expensive though and i couldn't bring myself to buy it again so i bought the cheaper version of this by performix but it has like less I don't know there was something different that wasn't as good as the like advanced one and it was like $30 cheaper so I bought that I don't know what it's gonna taste like I will let you guys know I have a summer's eve lady product for your lady parts this is sensitive skin delicate blossom it's great I don't have a preference too much when it comes to feminine product I don't know not picky L'Oreal, I went, oh, just one. I went through one. This is, I think, the shampoo. Yes. And this is a Extraordinary Clay shampoo. It's really, really affordable. And it makes my hair smell so good. I highly, highly suggest it. I went through another soap, Mint Mojito by Bath & Body Works. That was a foaming cleansing one. I don't like the foaming ones. That's one of the ones where I'm like, I won't go and buy it, but I got that as a gift, and I'm not going to not use it. Like, it still smells good, and it still worked. I just, I don't know. I have an aversion to the foaming ones. Another Bath & Butterworks candle. This is the Sugared Lemons. This smells really great. I actually have another one still to go through, and I went through, I thought this was Bath & Butterworks for the longest time, and it's not. This is Green Market. I don't know where I got it from. Maybe it was a gift. Maybe it was a subscription box. I don't, I definitely didn't buy it. But it's white melon and it smells so good. It's actually a soy candle, yeah. And I, I don't ever have soy candles. And this smell, like it, my entire upstairs was just filled with this. And this is a baby candle made in the USA. Also, I enjoyed that. I like supporting my country. I also found it very interesting that right on the cap when you opened it, it said to keep away from babies and animals, which makes me think the fact they had to like lay it out that bold on the inside lid. I feel like a few animals got caught on fire and a few babies got burned. 
which makes me very upset when I read them like oh just thinking of my mind hopefully no one was harmed while using those candles okay candles in general are harmful houses burn down they are dangerous you just got to be careful equate cleansing pads these are acne pads they're like little pads and they have just like acne chemical stuff on it and just wipe it on your face I like these I definitely want to buy them again equate brand it works perfectly fine I suggest it because it's like a couple dollars compared to like spending five dollars and getting the same exact ingredients Ed Hardy this is a perfume I threw this in here because I am literally right at the bottom I just have a tiny bit left and I've had it for years so I think it is time to pass this on to the trash land okay more makeup um this is a Nastasia Beverly Hills brow gel that's the word I'm looking for I liked using it um it lasted me a very very long time it doesn't work any better than any other brow gel I've used so I think I'm gonna stick to the cheaper ones um poreless by Tarte this is a clean slate poreless primer very good like it when you're looking for like a higher end brand I would say definitely check this one out because I don't have any complaints especially with acne like a lot of a lot of products break me out and that one didn't so I think it was maybe like between 20 and 30 dollars which is like lower high-end makeup I um, also went through a Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Eyeshadow. A lot of these I will tell you I've been trying to run out of. Like I've purposely been trying to use them and run out of. This one was already like on its way out. So I just threw some of these in. I have back it's a lot of this stuff. Maybe not the same product but ones that I need to use up. So that's why you have more makeup in here than normal. This is by Essence. This is a super fine waterproof eyeliner. I'm obsessed. I don't get the waterproof one normally but um it works just as well as the regular one and the regular one works just as well as this one they both stay on your eyes and they're like two dollars i highly highly suggest it i also went through clearance multi-active you this is a uh, eye um lotion i loved it it looked perfect underneath the makeup it didn't like I don't know, some people get like balls and like, I don't know, it looks weird. This one felt good. It has a little like metal applicator. You're supposed to like rub it on. It's supposed to have a cooling effect. I just used my fingers. I, I don't know. I just had, I didn't want to use the metal part. It was like an extra step where I was like, I'm okay. I enjoyed it. It worked well. My eyes didn't feel tight when I used it. I went through Rapid Clear 7 Acne. This is like a spot treatment. This is my favorite spot treatment ever. They changed it though. They changed the formula. I'm so upset. So whenever I see the old formula, like the old boxes now, I'll like just buy them all up. Like Target had them on like clearance the other day and I just bought like three of them. This, I don't know, you guys need it. If you have acne issues and you don't have a ton of money like I do to spend on getting dermatologist stuff because once you're 25 all of a sudden acne is a cosmetic expense and not like a medical expense so insurance doesn't pay for I think most insurance don't pay for acne medication at that point so yeah I'm stuck with like drugstore stuff and then I went through a cherry chapstick I think yep that was everything I went wait what was that oh there's another chapstick down there no big deal don't need to show it to you you guys get the gist I'm gonna go. I gotta go to a party and you know, I'm hungry. I gotta go. I'm also, I feel like I talked so fast and so long. I'm winded. My heart is racing. I love you so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and I will see you very, very soon. Bye.